Hello, and welcome back to Newsbeat Tigers. I'm Kate Oliver. Last night, elections were called in Kentucky and Virginia in favors of Democrats, both of which were Trump-led states in the November 2016 election. President Trump won in both states, both of these states significant margins in the last presidential race. So this could signify a shift in party domination nationwide and could be a predictor for how Louisiana's runoff for governor may turn out next week. Similar to the rally held in Lake Charles, prior to the primary race for governor, the president held a rally in Kentucky alongside incumbent Republican Governor Matt Bevin, who lost the race for governor Tuesday night. President Trump spoke about how if Bevin lost, it would send a bad message for his own campaign. You're sending that big message to the rest of the country. It's so important. You've got to get your friends. You've got to vote. Because... If you lose, it sends a really bad message. It just sends a bad, and they will build it up. Here's the story. If you win, they're going to make it like ho-hum. And if you lose, they're going to say, Trump suffered the greatest defeat in the history of the world. This was the greatest. You can't let that happen to me. The president, the president will be heading to Monroe today in hopes of boosting the Republican candidate for governor in Louisiana, Eddie Rispone. This week marks the start of early voting for the runoff race for governor, and incumbent Democrat John Bell Edwards and Republican challenger Eddie Rispone went head-to-head -head on air for the last time in the final debate last Wednesday. Political experts and viewers took to Twitter to criticize the two candidates for failing to use this final chance to give the public a clear answer as to what they do in office and for spending most of the debate time talking over each other. One thing that both candidates were clear about, however, is that they have strong morals and family values. Early voting for the runoff between the two will be going on until November 9th, and the polls will officially open for the race on Election Day, November 16th. Well, that's all the time we have to talk politics on tonight's news feed. But be sure to stay tuned for what new Starbucks flavors are available this season. We'll be right back.